our local uh, tournament for uh, the Killer Queen scene here in uh, New York City. Um, up first, we have uh, Desperate House Hives on gold and Meaningless Choices on blue. Uh, so this, this should be uh, pretty interesting. Um, see how this rolls out. I want to thank uh, our uh, stream technician. We have, a, we have a new member of the staff here at 5v5, Dell, who will be uh, our stream technician. Um, and uh, here we go. We're jumping into this first game between Desperate House Hives on gold and Meaningless Choices on blue. Um, all right, right off the bat, it looks like we have strong gate control from blue and both teams running econ. Um, we have uh, pretty, pretty no, 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 you're, you're, you're fine. Uh, so I just I just brought this up. So quick out, quick out, bud. So I just brought this up so that we can do the notches if someone's about to. All right. Uh, so we have both teams running a pretty good econ with gold setting up a, a ledge guard, a pretty strong ledge guard made up of uh, a queen and a soldier. Uh, blue actually uh, mirroring that. Um, but uh, in the meantime, it looks like oh, there we go. The gold queen goes down. Uh, good moves there by that blue queen uh, from uh, meaning less choices. Um, and that has actually, uh, seems like it's stunned uh, gold enough that blue has taken a slight uh, econ lead, although uh, it's very, very close. Actually, maybe they are tied. It's very hard to count uh, because of the pattern right now. Um, gold uh, doing an excellent job of shutting this hive down. Blue uh, returning the favor. They have a warrior coming in trying to clear things out. Makes way for a gold drone that gets in. Um, and this is a very tense uh, econ game. Both teams neck and neck. Um, blue doing a pretty good job of managing to sneak in as their blue queen comes out to clean things out. There we go. Blue, blue hive is completely cleaned out. Uh, two drones coming up. One gets shut down. Second one almost gets shut down. Um, both teams now only three berries away from taking uh, the first game in this best of three. Um, both hives uh, shut down quite a bit. Go uh, blue having much more control of, of the gates, uh, trying to keep, ooh, and blue is cleared out, but there are no drones to take advantage of it. And gold gets cleaned out, and three berries come in, and that means that it looks like gold, oh no, never mind, I thought that they had enough. Um, it looks like one got shut down. Uh, once again, tough defense. Blue is only two away from winning. Gold is only one. Another blue drone gets in. It's all tied up. Uh, that blue defender doing her uh, best to shut things down. A lot of blue drones going down, just throwing themselves at this gold queen. Uh, blue queen doing an excellent job of keeping any military out. Oh, but a gold burger sneaks in. Oh, and there we go. That means that uh, Desperate House Hives takes our first game of the best of three. Um, uh, against uh, meaningless choices. Uh, pretty impressive there from both teams. This means we're going to be moving on to the night map uh, for our next game. Uh, pretty exciting. Uh, that was a very close game. Um, great defense there by both teams uh, doing their best to, to shut down the opponents. Um, and uh, in the end, it was just uh, came down to one or two drones slipping in and um, Desperate House Hives was ma was, uh, managed to, to move the berries just a little faster. Uh, Blue had some great control, uh, but unfortunately uh, they had one really bad turn where the Gold Queen killed almost all of their drones as they were coming in. That, that probably lost them the game, um, because up till that point they were very, very close, neck and neck. And neck. Um, so it's going to be really interesting uh, to, see, to see these two teams, uh, both who seem very talented, both seem evenly matched in skill uh, going into this second game um, on the night map. Uh, night map already a map that uh, players are maybe a little less used to playing. And so uh, we'll see uh, what these two teams have in store for us. Uh, there should be maybe some surprises. Um, okay, so here we go into the second game of this best of three between Desperate House Hives on gold and Meaningless Choices on blue. Um, People who follow the New York scene here, which uh, is uh, probably myself and uh, half a dozen people in Chicago and Portland, um, might be familiar with uh, a, a pretty good team we have here in New York, uh, the New York uh, University Meaningful Choices. Uh, this uh, Meaningless Choices is uh, made up of, uh, is sort of a splinter group off of that team. Um, 
uh, they, they, they grew too large, and so now we have uh, meaningless choices. Uh, right off the bat, we have both teams going Econ, but Blue doing a much better job. Um, it seems like Gold had maybe been positioning itself to make a play for the Snail, but that did not materialize. Um, oh, and the Blue Queen goes down, though, so maybe Gold can get back in this with some very strong defense. Uh, we've got two, uh, we've got Hive Guards on both sides, um, trying to make sure that, uh, that ne these berries uh, get shut down. Um, but right now, oh, there we go, Blue Hive is cleared out, uh, and uh, they're only three away from taking this there. Gold is moving the snail, but that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Blue Queen and a Blue Warrior doing an excellent job of making sure that snail does not move at all, while Blue, now only one berry away from winning. Oh, a drone pops out, grabs it, and there we go, a uh, pretty fast win there uh, from uh, Meaningless Choices. Uh, excellent job from them, um, really taking control of that game. Um, so we're going to move on to uh, the day map, um, uh, and because we are all tied up here between desperate house hives and meaningless choices. Um, yeah, both teams uh, showing some excellent moves in that last game, and uh, it is going to be very interesting to see uh, these two teams. Uh, it seems like Gold uh, maybe feeling confident after that first win. Uh, jumped into the snail thinking that they could control it, but um, unfortunately it was shut down and that, that put them at a disadvantage for the rest of uh, that match, which just turned out to be an econ match. Uh, let's see uh, how this next one turns out. Oh, an early kill on the Blue Queen. Um, Golds may be deciding that they're going to take a strong military stance. Yeah, we, it looks like we have, like, uh, Gold Queen almost sort of hunting for the Blue Queen. Um, very, very aggressive stuff there from Gold. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Gold has uh, evened out Econ, so they're, uh, they're doing an excellent job of that. Um, uh, basically even out. Oh, the Gold Queen goes down now, so uh, that's uh, all tied up on Queen kills. Uh, but honestly, uh, Gold, ooh, bad ledge guarding there by Gold. I was going to say, Gold has had a much more consistent ledge guard than Blue has. Ooh, excellent moves there by Gold Hot Topic, uh, shutting down uh, some defenders from Blue coming up to try to harass their Econ. And that has allowed them, I think, to take a slight lead. Um, uh, Gold Queen has an enormous presence on the board. Ooh, almost scrapping there. Gold Queen does not seem at all afraid to uh, start trading with the Blue Queen, even though they are tied up on Queen kills. Oh, but the Gold Queen goes down as she tries to clean out her hive. The two Blue Soldiers doing an excellent job of pincering her. But in the meantime, that, that actually has allowed Gold to get even more berries in. They're now only three uh, away. Blue now tying it up there, and there's no more ledge guard over Blue. But there we go. Meaningless, meaningless choices manages to find uh, the queen and take her out, meaning that uh, they take that match uh, two to one. Um, uh, so congratulations to them. Let's uh, let's put let's make sure let's go over here on challenge. Make sure we get uh, we get that all recorded, and we are going to move on to our next match between. Uh, Beauty and the Bees and Ginyu Force. All right, Beauty and the Bees on gold, Ginyu Force on blue. All right, so when I start the game only, then go to the scoreboard and put in the next one. Then take off the notch. I can take off the notch. Okay, here we go, going into our second game of the night uh, between Beauty and the Bees and Ginyu Force. Ginyu Force, a relatively new team, uh, made up of uh, some uh, free agents. Uh, while, whereas Beauty and the Bees has a couple of free agents, but uh, has much more uh, experienced uh, team members. Um, Beauty and the Bees has been uh, appearing at quite a number of uh, 5v5 Fridays, um, making sure, uh, uh, making their name known uh, in, uh, in the New York scene. Uh, okay, right off the bat, we looks like we're gonna have a snail uh, from Ginyu Force. Uh, it's uh, it's run off by um, uh, a uh, gold soldier. However, it looks like yeah, Ginyu Force really interested in getting this snail. Unfortunately, uh, gold has pretty much shut it down. Uh, as gold uh, starts moving their econ, gold interestingly enough has a speed drone. I don't I don't know. Maybe they were going to plan. Uh, 
for the snail uh, themselves, um, but decided that um, once Blue was going to make a play for it, they were going to pivot to Econ. And so far, that's worked out for them quite, uh, quite a lot. They have a lot of Econ coming in, a huge Econ lead, while the snail has moved very, very little. Uh, mm. uh, so for people who are maybe a little bit new to Killer Queen, uh, it is worth uh, noting that uh, you know there's uh, some controversy about whether or not the uh, the snail is viable in this game. Uh, some would say yes, some would say no. Um, it's a it's a it's a it's a subject of great controversy. So actually, that snail had moved quite a, a bit across uh, the field. So, but unfortunately, blue doesn't have the military to take control of it, which means that gold is moving it back. Gold, in the meantime, has actually turned that. Uh, it looked like it turned that uh, speed drone into a speed uh, soldier. Oh, gold queen going down, and actually, blue has done a pretty good job of making sure that um, that econ slows quite a bit. Now, uh, they have uh, a rider on the snail again, but again, I don't think that they're doing a good enough job of getting a dominant military out. They have two drones just running around. They're not becoming soldiers. They really need a dominant military presence. And there we go. They both become soldiers. Um, Econ has been slowed quite a bit from blue. Uh, Gold Queen actually having to come over here and start to uh, guard. Ooh, and they use that uh, opportunity to take her out. Gold Queen now on her last life. And there is no gold military out. Uh, Gold Queen has not done a good job of keeping control of the Maidens and making sure that they can put a military force out that would counter this. And there we go. They, they uh, Blue manages to uh, move her out. And Ginyu Force taking a surprise win there. Um, it looked like that snail was not going to work. But they stuck with it and they made it work, uh, which means that we are going into the night map with uh, Ginyu Force on blue up one against Beauty and the Bees. Uh, impressive showing uh, from both of those teams, uh, but Ginyu Force especially. Uh, Ginyu Force, uh, I think this is only their second 5v5. Um, and already showing some impressive moves, taking out one of our more established teams uh, with the snail, no less. So impressive stuff. Okay, once again, it looks like Ginyu Force um, going to push the snail. Uh, they're maybe doing a little bit of a better job of getting uh, some kind of military out, uh, but Gold sensing this, actually maybe making a sn snail play of their own. Yeah, they have a speed drone on there, and in the meantime, uh, Gold has managed to get a much heavier military presence out. Um, they have uh, excellent positioning. Um, it's present around the snail, and Ginyu Force seems a little bit at a loss. Ooh, there we go, Blue Queen going down, because Blue Queen right now is the only one who seems to be able to deal with this snail. And Beauty and the Bees giving Ginyu Force a taste, maybe, of their own medicine. That snail is moving very quickly. Um, Blue does not have much military out. It's now just starting to come up. Go Blue Queen needing to actually do a lot of the work. Although, there you go, a lot of blue military showing up and actually doing a very good job of defending. Gold mil One gold soldier out trying to hold this down. Um, big dive by the gold queen. Very dangerous, actually, for her. Ooh, and there you go. She gets taken out. This is a snail game, and Blue is moving it back. Um, we've got queen kills all tied up. Blue has an enormous military. There is no gold military out. Uh, gold is actually going to have to go to the top of the map to get berries in order to become soldiers. And there's just... I'm not sure if Blue's going to allow that to happen. They're they're moving a slow snail, but they're not getting a lot of pushback. Um, okay, there we go. We've got a couple of gold warriors out. We're going to see if they can um, they can get this snail back in under their control. Uh, oh, there we go. Gold Queen goes down again. So gold, which seemed so strong in this early game, uh, doing such an excellent job of moving the snail so far. The snail has moved back all the almost all the way to center. Uh, Blue has had a commanding uh, control of it, but there we go. Now, now Gold has made something work. They've managed to get the control back. A long dive from that Gold Queen, but she misses the Blue Queen. Blue Queen doing a much better job of surviving in these exchanges. And there we go. Blue back on the board. Uh, Blue Queen being able, uh, able to be much more aggressive than the Gold Queen. because She's got a life to spare. They've, they almost pincer the Gold Queen. And once again, this is going back and forth. Oh, but... Blue loses the 50-50. And once again, we've got a big swing back where there is a lot of gold military out. Um, uh, both queens now are going to have to be very cautious. Um, 
and uh, Gold Queen taking position. A lot of gold military, no blue military to speak of. They have to get, grab and go all the way back down. Uh, this is something that's probably going to be a little bit easier on the second version of the night map, which has a drop in the center, so you can drop from the top to the to the bottom layer. Because um, right now, yeah, uh, Gold doing an excellent job of keeping control militarily. Um, Ooh, making sure that that snail is moving once again. And uh, we're going to see if Ginyu Force can get uh, control of this. Yeah, uh, Nick, Nick uh, Mikros noting that this is what happens when no one goes econ. This is just a long snail slog. And it looks like Beauty and the Bees come out on top, managing to lure the Blue Queen, Ginyu Force's queen, out. Uh, and that means that we are tied up one to one and going back to the day map. Um, really excellent games between these two players. Um, really excellent moves on both sides. That was a hard fought victory there for Beauty and the Bees. Looked like they had it really easily in the beginning. Then it got pulled back. Ginyu Force pulls the snail all the way back. Then somehow Beauty and the Bees manages to take control of it and bring it all the way back over and lure out the Blue Queen for the win. So excellent job there, excellent coordination. And excellent, excellent job from beating these. Not, um, not panicking, right? Maintaining control, uh, even as it looked like they were losing control of that match. Um, and I think that is that's the mark of them being an experienced team. They, 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 uh, they don't uh, dwell on their losses. They, uh, they collect themselves and they ask what they need to do to win, and they do it. Um, all right, so here in this third game between uh, Beauty and the Bees on gold and Ginyu Force on blue, it looks like it's going to be much more of an econ game. Um, gold, uh, Beauty and the Bees concentrating almost entirely on econ, it seems. Uh, their queen there coming and trying to clear out the hive um, as a drone comes in. So she's successful not in clearing out the hive, but at least in making room for it. Uh, blue has been moving a little bit of econ and a little bit of snail, but neither very much. Um, and in fact, it looks like they may be switching over to a hard military stance. Yeah, I mean, it looks like, well, they got one drone out, but they've got a lot of military out. Yeah, um, they may be thinking that this will be a military game. Um, Gold Queen kind of cower cowering there, but actually the Gold Queen managing to get a win against the Blue Queen. So in fact, this military push from Blue has been upset quite a bit. Um, Ooh, another kill on the Blue Queen. Uh, Ginyu Force uh, really starting maybe to show, um, you know, to, to, to show the kind of uh, cracks that happen with a team that it has a lot of talent on it very clearly, but certainly is not as experienced playing together as, uh, as Beauty and the Bees. And Beauty and the Bees, uh, that econ has moved slowly, but it has been moving. The snail has moved as well. It is almost out, all the way out of the long haul. Um, and actually, now that I say that, there's very little military presence from gold, and that translates into a kill on their queen, and there's a huge military presence from blue. They are swarming gold base, uh, trying to keep this Ekron from moving. Actually, so, so in the meantime, Beauty and the Bees deciding that they're going to play that game, and they're going to start moving the snail back. Now, I, yeah, I doubt, yeah, I don't think that was a real snail move. What they were doing is basically deciding that they want to buy time uh, for their econ um, and actually pull a lot of this blue military down, which is a huge success as the Gold Queen clears out almost all of the blue military and gold, a gold soldier finds the blue queen, meaning that Beauty and the Bees takes that game two to one against Ginyu Force. Um, and let's... Uh, Let's record that win, an excellent win there, an excellent match from both teams, and some uh, excellent work there by Beauty and the Bees, um, not, uh, not losing their, their cool under that pressure. So we're going to move on to our next match between Meaningful Choices on Gold and Mochi on Blue. All right, Meaningful Choices on Gold and Mochi on Blue. All right, so... Uh, this is going to be pretty interesting. On gold, we have one of the strongest teams in New York, uh, at least until anyone plays Kickstarter, uh, on gold. And Mochi, a new team, uh, first time at 5v5, uh, playing on blue. Um, so here we go. Uh, uh, this is going to be really interesting uh, between these two matches to see what kind of moves Mochi has. And right off the bat, you see a huge econ push from uh, Meaningful Choices. Um, and, uh, and it looks like Mochi doesn't yet 
have an answer. Um, yeah, they, 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 Mochi right now does not even have a ledge guard. Brian, uh, Brian Kang, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the queen for, uh, yeah, for, uh, for uh, <laughs> meaningful choices, kind of just uh, styling there, um, showing how strong he is. Um, and that means that we have this first game going into the uh, gold, uh, the, the gold column. Uh, so excellent job there uh, from our, uh, from Meaningful Choices, our, our sort of returning champion. They have won uh, both of the last two um, 5v5s. Uh, it looks like we have uh, Mochi thinking hard about, uh, about uh, the game. Um, uh, uh, and here we go into the night map uh, with the second best of three. And right off the bat, we have Brian Kang. Uh, Brian Kang just kind of uh, feeling himself, as they say in the uh, fighting game community, uh, taking uh, taking advantage of his experience. And in fact, it looks like Gold is not going uh, Econ. Gold is not going Snail. Gold, meaningful choices, is maybe going full military. Um, they have decided that they maybe have the kind of overwhelming uh, presence and skill. And there we go, look, all of gold. And there we go, another kill on Mochi's uh, queen. And uh, this, is, uh, this is maybe just meanness. Ooh, another kill on blue as uh, once again, Meaningful Choices just absolutely swarming Mochi. Mochi, no military to speak of. And there we go, a very quick <laughs> win from Meaningful Choices. Uh, let's, uh, let's record that real quick. Yeah, Meaningful Choices, an extremely strong team. Uh, Mochi uh, doing their best, um, but that's the sort of thing that happens when you have uh, you know, a, a team that is uh, quite strong um, going out, up, up against a relatively new team. All right, let's get uh, our next teams up and started. All right, buried alive on gold, BYOB on blue. All right, so we have, uh, going into this next match, uh, buried alive on uh, gold. Uh, also a new team, uh, new to uh, 5v5. You never know, some of these folks might be from Chinatown. Uh, the second, uh, you're not playing? Okay. Um, uh, the second uh, uh, cabinet uh, here in New York City. Um, and uh, uh, so we have BYOB, a, a pretty uh, experienced team, although I think they've got a couple of new... Uh, oh, a very experienced team. Uh, I think they've got a couple of new folks. Um, and so here we go. We're going to jump into this first game between Buried Alive on gold and um, uh, BYOB on blue. Um, so uh, right off the bat, it looks like uh, BYOB um, going for the snail. They've got uh, one, uh, they're going for a split strategy, snail and econ. Um, and uh, it seems to be working out for, for them on both fronts. Uh, so, ooh, there we go, a kill on the Gold Queen. Yeah, so Ginyu Force uh, struggling, uh, struggling in this match uh, after showing such strength in the last, ma last match. Ginyu Force, ooh, Queen goes down again. Queen having trouble um, with the sort of uh, vagaries of maybe uh, crown scraping. Uh, that's, a, you know, one of the things that you'll see uh, with uh, an, an inexperienced Queen or an inexperienced... Um, uh, uh, player in general is uh, understanding crown, scra crown scraping and uh, being able to uh, control the match. And there we go, BYOB, uh, slow and steady, wins their race, uh, pulling uh, the snail in uh, to victory. And uh, so uh, excellent job from them. Uh, and uh, we'll see if uh, Ginyu Force uh, can... Uh, can get back in this game. Um, the, um, two, two teams will get out of their group and go to the final, but yeah, two teams will be eliminated, unfortunately. So we, we don't like to do it, but you get more games than if you did a uh, like a double elimination, just best out of three bracket match. 
but with eight teams, we'd be here so for a long time if we just did a full round robin. Yes, you're going to play every other team in your group. And then whoever has the most wins at the end of everyone playing all the teams, the, the two highest move on into the next stage. And then there's another round robin. Yeah, no problem. Uh, all right. Oh, sorry, folks. Uh, that was very embarrassing. Uh, and, uh, so uh, what you missed is uh, BYOB moving that snail, that slow snail, that steady snail, the snail they love, uh, the snail you can't help but love. Um, and uh, Gold, uh, Ginyu Force, doing their best to keep control of that and actually doing a great job uh, bringing uh, BYOB's queen down. Uh, Ginyu Force is all the way down to uh, their last, uh, their queen's last life, but she's uh, holding her own. Um, fearless against uh, uh, a basically non-existent blue military. Actually, Gold Queen needs to be careful. She's the one getting chased down now. And in fact, BYOB has pivoted onto uh, Econ, um, pushing Econ in, a, in a addition, but oh, there we go. Uh, BYOB soldier manages to find uh, Buried Alive's uh, uh, queen and take her out. So great moves there by uh, BYOB. Uh, tough going there for um, for uh, Buried Alive. Uh, goes down 0 to 2. And now let's get our next match started between Ginyu Force and Desperate House Hives. Alright, Ginyu Force on gold, Desperate House Hives on blue. Okay, this is going to be exciting. Uh, we have Ginyu Force, uh, who I, I, I think I mistakenly said was in that last match. It was actually Buried Alive was playing on gold. So here we have Ginyu Force on gold. They had a very strong showing in their first match of the night, um, really giving Beauty and the Bees an experienced team a run for their money. But here we have Desperate House Hives, uh, made up of a uh, mix of members from uh, Bediocre, one of the, the stronger teams in New York, and uh, Little Red Bicycles, who actually had a very strong showing their first outing uh, at 5v5. So this is going to be an interesting uh, match. Uh, Desperate House Hives uh, going down to meaning less choices in that first match, uh, but meaning less choices uh, also very strong. So we'll see uh, we'll see uh, how this goes. Um, all right, jumping into our first match um, between Ginyu Force on gold and Desperate House Hives on blue. Desperate House Hives uh, is making a big, ooh, but Desperate House Hives Queen goes down while they're making this big econ push. And in fact, Desperate House Hives doesn't have a lot of military out. And, um, and Ginyu Force uh, having a strong snail push. It was all the way out of the long haul and they're keeping their speed drone alive. So this is gonna move very, very quickly. Uh, Ginyu Force, their queen doing an excellent job of controlling the gates, but actually uh, Blue for, uh, Econ has been moving along quite a bit. Um, here we go, it's, uh, it's, it's shut down there. Uh, meanwhile, the snail has been shut down as well. Uh, gold looking like they want to put um, some military on the board, uh, switching to a speed warrior um, to try to make this work. Um, oh, and there we go. Uh, Desperate House Hive's queen goes down again. So gold doing an excellent job of controlling the board militarily. Ooh, there we go. Blue Queen gets her revenge, uh, and the Gold Queen goes down for the first time as Blue starts moving the snail uh, back. So um, right now, um, we have a very aggressive Blue Queen, uh, even though she's on her last life, and we have a lot of gold military out. In fact, they're going to do classic snail, uh, three military out, trying to get control of the board, trying to slow down this econ, which has been moving ahead. And actually, with this clear hive, um, uh, Blue, Desperate House Hives, is only three berries away from winning. Uh, however, they're having to split their forces uh, trying to shut down the snail as well, but they're actually doing a pretty good job. They're now only two berries away from winning. Gold Queen and a Gold Warrior coming up, uh, trying to defend against that hive. But at 50-50, and it looks like Gold comes out on top. So Gold, uh, Ginyu Force, taking that first game against Desperate House Hives. Um, excellent showing there. Uh, they consistently had a strong military presence. Uh, controlling that game, um, using the snail to put pressure, uh, and eventually taking it uh, in a risky 50-50. Uh, so, nice job there uh, by both sides. And here we go, moving on to the night map. 
uh, for our second game in this best of three. Right off the bat, it looks like Desperate House Hives is once again pushing Econ, uh, this time uh, with a little bit of a stronger uh, military presence. Uh, Blue Queen immediately moving to try to make sure this snail doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, get any progress. Uh, however, there's one blue soldier going down. Uh, but in the meantime, there has been no, uh, no pressure on uh, the Desperate House Hives Econ. Ooh, but the Blue Queen goes down again. Uh, Blue Queen, very aggressive, I think, really trying to control the board, trying to make sure that her presence is felt. And what it has meant is a lot of deaths for her. And actually, we have four berries left for Blue, but that snail is moving. There's no Blue military out. So, uh, ooh, there we go, a drone sacrifice. Blue Queen coming over to try to shut this down. But she goes down again, and that means that this snail is pretty much going to move in uncontested, meaning that Ginyu Force takes the game 2-0 against Desperate House Hives. Excellent showing there from Ginyu Force, um, which had a very strong presence uh, in their first game, and now really showing what they're made of by taking Desperate House Hives down 2-0. Uh, so let's move on to our next game between Beauty and the Bees on gold and meeting less choices on blue. All right, Beauty and the Bees on gold, meeting less choices on blue. Um, so let's, uh, we'll see what these, uh, so here we go. We have two very strong, uh, teams, uh, coming into this next match, meaning less choices, an offshoot of meaningful choices, our reigning champion, and Beauty and the Bees, uh, a veteran team now on their third or fourth, uh, 5v5. They usually go to Chinatown to practice, so they should have some very impressive moves, um, and uh, I think this is going to be a great game. This is going to be really interesting to see how these two teams react as they collide. Uh, Beauty and the Bees uh, doing some thinking. Uh, but here we go. Both teams uh, jumping in. Uh, and we're going to have our first game of this best of three between Beauty and the Bees on gold and meaning less choices on blue. Uh, right off the bat, it looks like we have a gold push. Ooh, an early death for Beauty and the Bees Queen. Uh, very strong showing from uh, Meaningless Choices Queen. Um, and, but unfortunately, both teams moving Econ, and what has not happened is any kind of harassment of gold base, which means that they have a slight lead on Econ. So Blue is going to need to get something started. Um, blue, Queen, and a Warrior. There we go. Blue getting a ledge guard up. Gold already having a ledge guard in Blue uh, that's getting uh, maybe moved out by that Blue Queen. Uh, but, ooh, that, that soldier doing a good job standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with that blue queen and surviving. Gold coming in here. Yeah, gold queen clears out her hive, which means that we have a drone coming in uh, as well. Uh, but the blue queen swipes another drone that's coming up. Uh, so excellent moves here from both teams. Um, uh, all right, so uh, Econ moving a pace, pretty much tied up. But, ooh, another death on the gold queen. Uh, blue queen having some excellent moves, really controlling this game. But I will uh, reiterate, not doing an amazing job of keeping drones from coming in the hive. So now Gold Queen may be down to her last life, um, but she is, uh, uh, she is uh, doing uh, nothing to stop the drones from coming in. And that means that uh, uh, Beauty and the Bees has an Econ game going. They're only two away. They have maintained their slight Econ lead. Ooh, bad ledge guard there by the Gold Soldier. And that may decide it, actually. We have, uh, we have it all tied up in Econ. That Gold Soldier needs to shut this Econ down. That's not happening. A blue drone gets in. Another blue drone gets in. And that means that Meaningless Choices takes this first game. Um, in a very closely fought Econ match, Meaningless Choices, uh, with the sort of superior uh, queen moves, uh, manages to take that first game. And that means we're going to move on to the night map um, here between uh, Beauty and the Bees on gold and Meaningless Choices on blue. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty amazing game right there. Uh, unfortunately, that gold ledge guard just not able to uh, keep control of the blue base. Um, and, uh, and there we go. I think what you saw in that last game was a lot of military, uh, a lot of scrapping between the queens. Um, blue queen often coming out on top. Um, 
but uh, but not a lot of good ledge guarding, right? A lot of drones getting in, even though there were deaths on both sides. A lot of drones uh, getting in and um, and and uh, you know making making the plays. Uh, all right, I don't know what I just said. Making the plays, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> all right, so uh, right off here in our uh, second game of this best of three between. Uh, uh, between Beauty and the Bees on gold and Meaningful Choices on blue, it looks like we have Meaningless Choices uh, pushing Econ. They've got three uh, Econ going, while uh, gold has chosen to uh, move the snail, but unfortunately that's not working out because, uh, once again, the strength of the blue queen, the strength of Meaningless Choices queen, uh, is going to make this snail push very, very difficult. And there we go. A lot of kills on both sides, but uh, meaningless choices queen coming out on top, but she has to actually go down and start capturing some gates and trying to clear out her hive And that means that gold starts moving the snail again uh, We have blue abs there uh, Hovering above that uh, snail We're gonna make sure that, that that it doesn't move any any farther and blue queen Yeah, being very aggressive against that gold queen. You can see the confidence of uh, the queen for meaningless choices and there we go uh, Econ moving a pace for blue, right, especially here as the blue queen comes down to clear it out, takes out that soldier. We've got two more berries coming in, meaning that, uh, uh, meaning less choices is only one berry away from taking this, and here it comes, and there we go, a commanding game of Econ there from meaning less choices, giving them the win against Beauty and the Bees. Uh, tough fought there, Beauty and the Bees, uh, really really uh really struggling there uh we're gonna get our next game started uh between uh byob on gold and meaning full choices meaning full choices on blue all right byob on gold meaning full choices on blue okay here we go into this next match between byob and meaning full choices um uh, an excellent uh, game probably coming up. I think this is BYOB's first match of the night. Yes, that is. Oh, no, no, no. They've had one uh, where they went up against Buried Alive, 2-0. Um, BYOB, uh, the team that features the game's two creators, Nick Mikros and Josh Nabonis. Um, uh, we're not sure if that means they cheat or not. I'm pretty sure they don't. I'm pretty sure they're, they're just pretty good. They're pretty good, but here we go. They're going up against our reigning champions, Meaningful Choices on, on uh, Blue. So we'll see uh, if they can uh, pull out a win against a very strong team uh, in, uh, in uh, Meaningful Choices. All right, so early in this game, it looks like we had a snail moving for uh, for uh, BYOB, um, and BYOB's queen going down twice already. Very, very strong uh, presence from Brian Kang, and there we go. Brian Kang gets his way again, hunting down BYOB's queen and taking a military victory, a true military victory, uh, right off the bat in this best of three. Uh, so here we go, we're going into our second match of this best of three between BYOB on gold and meaning full choices on blue. Um, and that was a very strong game there from, uh, from the queen, uh, Brian Kang, uh, meaning full choices queen. So let's see, last time uh, Brian Kang felt like he had this much military control. Uh, his team went uh, a full military, but it doesn't look like they're doing it this time. Instead, what they're doing uh, is Econ. They've already got three berries in. Um, BYOB, oh, there we go. Uh, Josh DeBonis, queening for uh, BYOB, cries out uh, in joy as he takes Brian down, uh, meaning that uh, BYOB is up militarily. Uh, two queens, uh, uh, are, uh, no queen losses to one. Ooh, but there we go. Josh goes down in the scrap around the, uh, uh, the snail. Uh, BYOB trying to move the snail as uh, Meaningful Choices is more than halfway done with their econ. Um, and yeah, uh, Josh uh, moving over, uh, BYOB's queen moving over, uh, trying to put a guard 
on this uh, on this econ that's being pushed by Meaningful Choices. Um, and in the meantime, Meaningful Choices is moving the snail back, trying to give some breathing room. Uh, unfortunately, Meaningful Choices has a uh, lock grip on all the gates, which means that gold doesn't have any military that they can get out. It's up to Josh to shut down the, the blue hive, um, and he has to vacate uh, to get control. And oh, he takes out Brian, but two more drones for blue get in, and that means they are only two berries away from taking this. And still, there is no gold military out. This is a huge problem for them. Josh, uh, uh, BYOB's queen, having to do a lot of the work, having to guard and uh, drones. Oh, and a bounce in and a drone, which means that Meaningful Choices takes an econ victory and the game. Uh, wow, what a bounce. Um, that was a harsh bounce there on BYOB, and Meaningful Choices takes that game two to zero, which means we're gonna go very quickly into our next match between Buried Alive and Mochi. All right, Buried Alive on gold, Mochi on blue. Who, once again, the bloodthirsty Brian Kang hunting his prey and uh, taking out uh, Taking out BYOB, a hard-fought game there. Um, so, all right, let's go into our next match. Actually, between two new teams, Buried Alive and Mochi, two teams that are making their first appearance here at 5v5 Fridays uh, in beautiful Brooklyn, New York, um, here at the Game Center, the NYU Game Center. Uh, thanks, everyone, for who's tuning in. Uh, we really appreciate all the support. I think one of the best things about uh, Killer Queen is how much the different scenes uh, support each other. Uh, here in New York, uh, we're always flattered when folks from Portland and uh, Chicago to more veteran scenes uh, tune in to watch us play. Um, uh, it's uh, really excellent, uh, really excellent to be part of the Killer Queen community. Um, let's see if we can get some more scenes. I'm hoping that we get a Washington scene, a San Francisco scene, uh, we'll see. Um, all right, so here we go. We're uh, jumping into this first match between uh, Buried Alive on gold and Mochi on blue. Uh, right off the bat, it looks like we have both teams uh, going econ. Some, some, some tough platforming there for Mochi. Uh, uh, they got a soldier coming in, but we have uh, no ledge guards. Oh, there we go. Blue Queen is uh, taken out. Um, by uh, the Gold Queen, and Gold Econ has been moving very quickly. Uh, we don't have any ledge guards so far on either side. Um, and so what that means is that it has really just been a race. Ooh, Gold Queen getting a little cocky, trying to take out uh, the uh, Blue Queen, gets slapped down. Uh, but that doesn't mean that their Econ still hasn't been moving quite quickly. Blue finally gets a little bit of a ledge guard uh, in place. Um, but that uh, isn't... Uh, it doesn't do a lot of good as a, a couple of drones get in. Um, so we'll see uh, how, uh, how uh, they adapt uh, to, this, uh, to this change. Um, yeah, once again, a lot of econ moving, a little bit of military out. You can kind of you kind of feel maybe that these two teams aren't as familiar with the game. Just starting to figure it out, just starting to uh, understand how it works. Uh, gold here, a lot of harassment going on from blue, but they are only two berries away. Here comes one. Oh, but it gets shut down. Blue, uh, that, that drone didn't manage to make it in. They do know that they can grab that berry, though, and another drone comes in. Ooh, a kill there on the blue queen. Um, as this is a hard scrabble match, and it looks like gold is going to take it though, as that last drone uh, gets in, and that means that we have uh, uh, buried alive going up one against uh, Mochi. Um, fun game there. It's always always fun to watch. Yeah, we're moving on to the night map. Always fun to watch new teams. Um, you know, uh, interesting to see them sort of slowly figure out the game. I think a lot of pro we saw just a lot of progress even just for those two teams um, in their you know their first games. I think uh, both of these teams have had at least one game today. Um, yes, uh, but they were about against very very experienced teams, so it was kind of a struggle. So here we have two teams that I think really are evenly matched, um, and it's really kind of wonderful though to watch them slowly figure out the game. Okay, there we go. Gold Queen going down. Blue is moving the snail. Uh, once again, you see that uh, that sort of advanced crown scraping technique uh, hasn't really been figured out by either team uh, because uh, this blue military is really just sort of like running around on the ground, not getting into positions. Ooh, 
but the Gold Queen goes in and is immediately taken out by um, by uh, that blue soldier, which means that this blue snail is moving along. Gold has been moving econ, but the snail is moving faster. Um, so it is going to really be up to gold to try to get back into this uh, and shut this snail down. Uh, they're doing a pretty good job of it. Ooh, but bo both their military uh, units go down. And there we go. Buried alive. Uh, their queen goes down, which means that Mochi is back in this. And we have a tied up match. Uh, one game for Buried Alive on gold and one game for Mochi on blue. And we're heading back to the day map. Uh, so yeah, uh, these two teams really starting to understand the game, really starting to figure it out. Um, maybe the one thing they're sort of still missing, uh, the one mechanic is crown scraping, but uh, we'll see, maybe they'll figure it out uh, in this next game. Um, but uh, yeah, really fun to watch these two teams uh, learn in real time. Uh, and I think both, both teams showing some promise. Um, good coordination, uh, on, especially from blue on that last side, uh, understanding that a strong military presence and coordination is the secret to the snail, uh, if there is a secret. Um, and here we go into our final game of this match between uh, Buried Alive on gold and Mochi on blue. Okay, right off the bat, it looks like we have uh, Econ push from both teams uh, with uh, Blue uh, not getting any Warriors. Um, ooh, but there we go, Blue Queen going down in a scrap with a Gold Queen. Uh, Blue has a speed uh, drone out. Uh, I think they did, maybe it got killed. Uh, they definitely had someone going in for speed, and now Blue getting some military out. Pretty good mi uh, military presence from Gold, actually. Uh, oh, Blue created a speed drone that's now on the snail and is pushing it, uh, which I guess is going to force a response from Gold, uh, who has been moving their econ and has almost tied it up. Uh, but uh, gold, gold military presence, uh, pretty strong. Uh, all right, so the snail is down, but that means Mochi has continued to move uh, their econ, which they already had a lead in. Uh, so uh, this might mean uh, that uh, Mochi has sort of figured it out. Oh, Gold Queen! Uh, Gold Queen managing to avoid that blue uh, that uh, blue soldier, and uh, go, the blue queen goes down. So she's she's gonna very quickly vacate that. Um, so this is an interesting match. Oh, uh, blue drone gets in. This is blues to lose as they uh, as they only have one berry left. The gold queen goes down. The blue hive is open. There's a gold soldier coming up. Doesn't manage to block it. And we have a uh, last berry going in for blue, meaning that Mochi takes their first game. Uh, one to two. Uh, two to one against Buried Alive. Uh, yeah, really fun match there between those two new teams, Buried Alive and Mochi, which means that we're going to get started between our next match uh, between uh, Desperate House Hives on gold and Beauty and the Bees on blue. Uh, Desperate House Hives on gold, Beauty and the Bees on blue. Okay, so uh, here we go. Uh, we're going to get this next match started between Desperate House Hives on gold and Beauty and the Bees on blue. Um, both of these teams, uh, I think, are, yeah, searching for their first, no, not their first wins. Desperate House Hive is searching for their first win, uh, whereas um, Beauty and the Bees is really hoping to uh, take this and maybe cinch a spot as, uh, uh, to get out of their group. So for people who maybe aren't uh, following along, don't know our, our uh, format here, we have two round robins going, Group A and Group B. Uh, both co comp are comprised of four teams. Uh, two teams are going to get out of, of each group, so we're going to get two teams from Group A and two teams from Group B. They'll be going into a final, the final stage, uh, uh, another round robin of four teams, and that will determine the winner of our round robin. So, okay, let's jump in to this, uh, this next match uh, between uh, uh, Desperate House Hives on gold and uh, Beauty and the Bees on blue. Um, right off the bat, it looks like we have uh, Econ moving for both teams. Uh, with a slight lead for gold. Uh, the snail has been pretty much ignored. Uh, we have a, a clear blue hive with, with a lot of blue harassment going on around the gold hive, but that gets cleared out uh, as a soldier comes through, uh, which means that gold is going to tie Econ up. Uh, and um, 
and this is still anybody's game. Yeah, so Gold actually doing a pretty good job now of, of ledge guarding against uh, Blue Econ and keeping their soldiers moving uh, around uh, to uh, make sure that the Gold Hive remains clear. Uh, but there we go. As I say that, Blue Queen clears out her hive and two drones get in, meaning that we are uh, we have a slight lead. No, we are all tied up on Econ uh, once again. Um, and we have ledge guards on for both sides, but there we go. Gold manages to clean their hive up, but the Gold Queen goes down. So they're going to take a slight berry lead uh, on Econ, um, but their queen has gone down. Another drone manages to slip in past that blue edge guard. Uh, and uh, there we go. Um, we, have only, we need only four berries left. Uh, blue clears out their hive right as uh, gold comes up. And once again, we have the gold queen shutting blue hive down. Um, but right now, we don't have a huge military presence from either team. Ooh, and the blue queen goes down as a gold drone sneaks in. And gold comes out to clean out their hive, meaning that there are only two berries away. Uh, from taking this uh, right now uh, we're gonna need some heavy ledge guarding yeah we have blue go blue queen going into ledge guard um, uh, trying to shut this econ down but even she's sort of chased off as another gold drone gets in and uh, gold desperate house hives only needs one more berry and here it comes blue man blue queen manages to shut it down but she's gonna have to run away very quickly uh, as uh, that gold soldier, gold hot, hot topic for the gold side, doing an excellent job of keeping their hive shut down. Um, and there we go, the last berry comes in for Desperate House Hives, and that means Desperate House Hives on gold goes up one game in this best of three uh, against Beauty and the Bees on blue. Uh, all right, so this is our second game, which means that we are heading over to the night map. Um, once again, uh, we're here at 5v5 Fridays uh, in Brooklyn, New York at the NYU Game Center. Uh, I want to thank everyone who's uh, tuning in uh, to watch us here on this Friday night. I want to thank our stream technician, uh, Del. Del, I actually don't think I know your last name. What's your last name again? Northern? Northern? Yeah. Del Northern, here, uh, our stream technician, helping me out, uh, making sure that I don't have uh, a conniption. Uh, <laughs> We're making sure I don't have an aneurysm trying to both cast and do overlays at the same time. So a huge help here. Um, and here we go. We're uh, right into this next game. Uh, ooh, Gold Queen going down very, very quickly as Blue starts moving the snail. So uh, Beauty and the Bees deciding to take this uh, as a snail game. Uh, Desperate House Hives moving Econ, but uh, they're going to need to put something together. Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of positioning there from Gold, from Blue, trying to shut down uh, any Gold military that's coming in. The Gold Queen, ooh, gets taken out, trying to to to, to nose in. Uh, Blue Rider gets taken out. I don't know why Blue Rider didn't jump off, seeing that soldier come in, but it doesn't matter. Very quickly respawning, dropping right back onto that uh, thing, and there we go. Blue takes it, uh, luring that Queen out a second time. And uh, Blue has evened this, this uh, match up one-to-one -one with a strong snail push, uh, managing to draw that uh, Gold Queen out. They may have discovered uh, uh, Desperate House Hives uh, right now playing with a very aggressive Queen. So uh, uh, Beauty and the Bees has adapted and, um, and uh, made sure, uh, you know, used that snail maybe to lure out that aggressive Queen uh, and take the win. Um, well, we'll see uh, what this next match holds, uh, this next game holds for us as we go back to the day map. Uh, we are now tied up in this match one to one uh, with uh, Desperate House Hives on gold against Beauty and the Bees on blue. Uh, once again, Beauty and the Bees uh, searching for a win here to cinch a spot to get out of their group. Um, and uh, Desperate House Hives uh, simply searching for their first win of the night. Um, okay, so once again, oh, there we go, Blue Queen goes down, and once again, yeah, we have a Blue Snail Push, but this time, much less military presence. Um, uh, we have, uh, already the Snail has gotten shut, and shut down twice, and Gold uh, Econ has been moving along uh, here against uh, Desperate House Hives. There we go, uh, getting in, and yeah, there's just no Blue Defense of the snail. Uh, so this gold soldier and gold queen have pretty much shut the snail down. Now, uh, we have uh, a little bit more military presence out now. Uh, ooh, they take out that gold soldier. Gold queen coming in maybe to, to, to do some work. 
she has to immediately get out of there. Um, drone dropping down, but this much more of a cl it's a much closer race right now between uh, Gold's Econ and the Snail. Gold now bringing the Snail back a little bit as Blue Military moves in, trying to, to make sure this doesn't happen. Um, but unfortunately, with the Gold Queen there, they don't quite have the military presence they need to really start pushing around Gold Military. And the Snail is moving back. Um, this is really tough. Uh, on uh, Beauty and the Bees. There we go. They've gotten control of the snail again. They have a pretty strong military presence. They're moving a ledge guard into the gold hive. Um, and uh, they're going to try to take this snail momentum back. Uh, gold Queen once again going down, uh, having to dive for that snail. And uh, Beauty and the Bees looking like they're feeling confident. They've got military in position. They need a little bit more military out. Uh, they had, there's only two berries. I don't think they realize that there's only two berries from gold that needs, needs to be uh, gotten in. And there we go. They get both in, which means that Desperate House Hives, uh, Sneak Econ, uh, takes that game two to three. Uh, all right, excellent game there. Uh, two very well-matched teams. Um, and it just so happens that the uh, consistent econ from Desperate House Hives allows them to take it. Uh, which means that we're going to move on to our next game between uh, Genyu Force and Meaningful, Meaningless Choices. All right, Genyu Force on gold, Meaningless Choices on blue. Meaningless Choices on blue. Okay, uh, here we go into our next match between uh, Ginyu Force on gold and meaning less choices on blue. Uh, we're about to finish our first stage here. Uh, this will be the last match of uh, Group A, and then we have two more matches from Group B, and then we'll go into our final stage, our final round robin stage, uh, with uh, whoever gets out of uh, our groups. Uh, okay, so. Uh, both teams thinking, planning. Uh, this is going to be a really interesting game. Uh, right now, as far as the standings go, we have meaningless choices with two wins. Ginyu Force looking for a second win um, to, uh, to make sure that they get out of their group. Uh, and here we go, jumping into the first game between these two teams. Uh, once again, we have Ginyu Force on gold and uh, Meaningless Choices on blue. And ooh, an early kill on Meaningless Choices uh, queen. Um, What's that? Uh, I think it's going to be between Ginyu Force and Beauty and the Bees. I think you guys maybe. Uh, it depends. I got. I got. I got to look. But you guys have taken. No, it'll be a three-way. I don't know what the. I don't know what the tiebreaker is. I'll have to look. Uh, we might we might just do a game. We might have to just do a game to settle it, but we'll see. Um, all right, so we have uh, Ginyu Force on gold uh, with a very strong military presence. Blue is running Econ, but Ginyu Force is running military. Uh, and they have already taken out the queen twice. Uh, meaningless Choices is a bit on the back foot, although they have been managing to move Econ. And if the blue queen can stay alive, uh, they might be able to uh, to take this match on Econ alone. Uh, we have uh, Blue Abs. Yeah, Drone getting in. Um, ooh, but there we go. Uh, Ginyu Force manages to find the Blue Queen and take that first game. So very strong military presence there from Ginyu Force. Um, really, uh, really letting their presence, making their presence known. Um, and here we go onto the night map in the second game of this best of three. Uh, and uh, once again, right, we have Ginyu Force searching for their uh, their win, which may cinch them second place. Um, okay, here we go. We have Blue running Econ and Ginyu Force once again going for a strong military presence and the snail. They have a speed drone out uh, trying to find its way, but actually gets shut down by the blue, some nice moves by the Blue Queen. Uh, and Blue Queen may be deciding that it, she is not going to get pushed around in this match. And there we go. Nice move. She manages to take out the Gold Queen. And their Econ continues to move. Once again, they've been moving Econ basically unchallenged by Gold. Um, they've had enough military out to shut this snail down. 
and Brian Wong, uh, the uh, blue queen for Meaningful Choices, doing a much better job of staying alive and staying in control of this match. And there we go, two more drones get in. Uh, meaningless Choices, only uh, one, uh, one uh, two, three, sorry, two or three berries away from taking this. Um, we don't have a lot out from uh, Genyu Force. Uh, meaningless Choices, a team that is much more experienced playing against each other. Their coordination really coming to the fore here. As another Barry comes in, the blue hive is clear. Uh, there is no uh, pushback uh, from uh, either team. And that is it. There we go. Meaningless Choices ties it up one to one against Ginyu Force, which means we are heading back to the day map. Um, uh, once again, uh, just to remind people, the, the, what's on the line right here is if Ginyu Force can win, they will pretty much cinch a second place in their group, meaning that they will be moving on to the final stage. Um, uh, meaningless Choices is pretty much already guaranteed uh, to move out. Uh, however, if Meaningless Choices uh, defeats Ginyu Force, uh, we're going to have uh, an interesting, uh, we'll have to see what the tiebreaker is between Ginyu Force, Desperate House Hives, and... Uh, and Beauty and the Bees, all of which will have one win and three losses. So this has been a tough group, uh, meaningless choices, uh, with a very, very strong, uh, strong showing. Um, and here we go into this next game. Meaningless choices once again running econ. Uh, this time with basically one one military out once again to shut down the snail. Ginyu Force uh, trying for that snail, uh, but it's uh, it gets shut down by a uh, by the blue abs. Uh, both queens maybe being a little bit more cautious. We, we don't yet have a queen death. Uh, and Genyu Force just not guarding Econ. Um, they, they don't seem to... There we go. So two uh, gold military moving up trying to, to guard. Uh, and they, they managed to take control. Um, but man, that Econ... Yeah, another drone gets in. Uh, meaningless Choices is only four berries away from taking this match. Um, so a really strong uh, showing from them. Uh, Genyu Force... Their queen goes down. Uh, they're not really moving the snail. Blue controls almost all the gates. Another big dive from Blue takes out uh, Ginyu Force's queen. And Blue is now really feeling in control of this game. They have cleared out their hive. They have killed Ginyu Force's queen twice. They've killed the gold queen twice. Um, they have two drones coming in. One of them gets taken out by the queen, but they only Blue only needs one more berry to take this. Um, there's going to be a desperate defense here from Ginyu Force. Uh, maybe trying to, to kill the queen, but there we go. Bad dive by Ginyu Force means that Meaningless Choices takes their third win. They are moving out with a perfect record uh, from their group. And uh, let's see uh, what that means for the standings. Uh, it means that Ginyu Force wins the tiebreaker and uh, is going to move on. Uh, so, uh, Genyu Force, uh, you're, you're moving out of the group. You won the tiebreakers. Sorry, guys. Uh, I, that's what Challenge says. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. All right. So, uh, we're going to get our next match started. We, the, the problem is we have three, and we'd have to do like a round robin between all three of you, and it would just take too long. I, th I think the thing is that Ginyu Force, uh, let's figure out how this worked. So Ginyu Force um, beat you guys, um, and then lost to Beauty and the Bees, but their win was against you guys. Yeah, I don't know. I think, I think they just managed to take the tiebreaker. So we would do a tiebreaker between them and Beauty and the Bean, probably. Yeah, I think so. I think we're just going to go with what Challenge says. Sorry. Yeah. I just need to move it on. Um, all right. So uh, we're, we're, we were sorting out the standings there, and we're going to move on to our next match. All right. Meaning full choices on gold, buried alive on blue. Uh, okay, uh, here we go in our next match between Meaningful Choices on Gold and Buried Alive on Blue. Uh, we're going to close out here. Uh, this is, uh, we have this match and one more in, the, uh, uh, in Group B, and then we'll be moving on to our final stage. Um, uh, between, uh, it looks like, so uh, from that last group, 
we have uh, Ginyu Force and Meaningless Choices moving out of that group. Uh, tough match there. Um, yeah, I don't know quite how uh, they decide uh, the uh, the uh, the matches uh, on that uh, tiebreaker, but um, oh, I think I do know actually. It comes down to matches, so uh, we're gonna see how it works. I realize what it is. Ginyu Force had a 2-0, and no other team had a 2-0, so they won They had more match wins. They had more game wins than match wins. That's how that. That's how it. That's how they did it. Uh, okay. So both teams thinking hard. Here we go. Buried alive against Meaningful Choices. Uh, so Meaningful Choices right now is pretty much guaranteed to move out of the group. Uh, Buried Alive is searching for their first win of the night. Uh, and then we're going to have a match between BYOB and Mochi. Uh, and they're basically going to be playing for, uh, for second place in this group and moving out uh, and into the final stage. So this is, uh, you know, this is going to be a chance for Meaningful Choices to sort of uh, flex their muscles, to stay warm. Uh, maybe Buried Alive will surprise us. Uh, once again, Buried Alive, a very new team. This is their first 5v5. And Meaningful Choices uh, are returning champions. They have won two 5v5s in a row now. Um, and so we'll see, we'll see how this uh, sorts out. Um, all right, right off the bat, it uh, looks like we have Meaningful Choices going for a very strong military push. Yeah, that's what they have decided to do. They are going to get two Speed Warriors, a regular warrior. Ooh, Speed Warrior gets taken out there by the Blue Queen. Um, but they, yeah, this is a hunt. This is, Meaningful Choices has decided that this is a hunt. Um, they have one ledge guard and everyone else is just swarming the queen. And there we go. Blue Queen goes down for the second time. Uh, very strong showing. Um, and uh, yeah, Meaningful Choices I think is going to take this one very quickly. There we go. Uh, a very strong, uh, yeah, they take out the Blue Queen and they go up one to zero against Buried Alive. Uh, in this uh, best of three, it means we are moving on to the night map, and there we go. Very fast, uh, very fast jump in. Uh, yeah, we might give you a little, little choppiness on the stream. Our apologies. It's because we're we're uh, I think trying to make the overlays work. Um, also, I think there's been a little bit of uh, spotty internet uh, from NYU today. Uh, not quite as solid as it usually is. Okay, here we go. We have Meaningful Choices on gold, Buried Alive on blue, and Meaningful Choices is moving the snail, and we don't really have much of anything going on for Buried Alive. Buried Alive maybe just trying to stay in it. Uh, this speed snail has no challengers. Uh, blue Queen is going to come over. Gold has complete control of the gates. Um, there's basically no challenge from blue. Uh, this is probably going to be another very fast victory. There we go. Uh, Meaningful Choices takes it into the net. Meaningful Choices taking it 2-0 uh, against Buried Alive. Uh, which means that we're going to move into our final match of this group between BYOB on gold and Mochi on blue. BYOB on gold, Mochi on blue. Okay, so... Uh, just to remind folks what's at stake here, we have Meaningful Choices guaranteed to move out of their group with three wins in a row and no losses. Uh, but right now we have one win and one loss for both of these teams, which means that whoever wins this match, BYOB or Mochi, will be taking second place and moving out of their group into the final stage. So um, once again, we have uh, BYOB, uh, more of a veteran team. It has both the developers of the game on it. And we have Mochi, a brand new team. This is their first this is their first 5v5. Uh, so very exciting to see these, uh, these new players coming out. And uh, let's see how uh, these teams do. Uh, Josh DeBone is stepping away from BYOB. Gonna let uh, some of their other members uh, they have at least one alternate, uh, BYOB does, so uh, letting, uh, letting both of the alternates play. Um, and, uh, and yeah, Mochi tagging in, they're confident. Uh, BYOB discussing a little bit of strategy. I will note that one of the, one of the hallmarks of BYOB and Beauty and the Bees, both are t both teams that don't tag in too soon. Uh, they like to sit, they like to, to talk, they like to, like to all get on the same page. Um, so, uh, I, I, Good, good on them. 
Uh, all right, so uh, here we go. We have a nice, uh, big, lots of kills there for Gold Queen right off the bat um, as uh, BYOB starts moving their econ. Uh, Blue putting a ledge guard up in uh, Gold base, uh, but that doesn't do a good job of uh, shutting down uh, that drone. Um, yeah, drones moving in for gold. Blue Hive is totally clear, but that has not translated into uh, Blue Econ moving very quickly. In fact, they only just now only are just now getting in their uh, first uh, their uh, third third berry, where uh, gold only needs five berries left. There they go. They jump. Uh, gold jumping. BYOB jumping on the uh, the snail, I guess, just to have a little fun. Uh, as they take true drones in, gold now only three berries away from taking this. And Mochi looking like it's really struggling. Uh, very little military out. In fact, there's no military out for gold. There we go, getting one warrior out. As two more drones come in for gold, that means that they are only one berry away from winning. Um, it's not yet heading up, but uh, the gold hive has, is, oh, a kill on the gold queen actually. But unfortunately, that doesn't translate into any kind of ledge guard. And BYOB takes an econ victory very quickly there um, to go up one game in this best of three. Um, really, really interesting here uh, uh, to, to see uh, BYOB, a good team, but an erratic team. Uh, one, uh, one week they'll be up in the top two or three, and the next week they'll maybe not even take a match. Um, but uh, Mochi here, uh, I would say, a, a, is a new team, but I think showing some promise, right? Starting to understand the dynamics of the game. Um, they already understand the sort of value of a ledge guard, even if uh, their ledge guard hasn't quite figured out um, how to ledge guard yet. They at least understand that positioning is important. Um, and let's see what Mochi does here in this uh, second game of the best of three against BYOB on gold. Oh, BYOB, a big, a big econ push. Yeah, so three three berries moving in. A bad drop there from one of them, but three berries moving in. Ooh, but the Gold Queen gets taken out. Um, it's unclear what uh, Blue is trying to move. It doesn't seem like they're doing Econ. Maybe they're trying to move some Snail? Uh, that doesn't look like the case either. Uh, maybe they're going for a big military push. Um, yeah, it looks like that. It looks like they're going to try to play this militarily. Um, they have, uh, we have one ledge guard, ooh, and the gold queen goes down again! So actually, Mochi on the verge of a military victory, and doing an excellent job of killing a lot of that gold, uh, gold military. So, so, a lot of warriors down for gold, blue has a very strong military presence, they're just, like, yeah, gold, blue queen just sitting on that, uh, that gate, and they're moving the snail. I guess they're just, they've decided that with their superior military, they're going to start moving snail. Um, a lot of gold military coming in, though. Uh, ooh, yeah, there we go. Taking out all that blue military. Uh, and right now, we have a gold drone coming in, meaning that gold is only three berries away from winning. So really, they just have to... And there's no ledge guard for blue. No warriors out for blue. So that, that strong presence uh, from... Uh, military presence from blue is pretty much evaporated. And we're looking at another quick econ victory from gold. Yeah, here we go as that last berry gets in. And that means BYOB takes it 2-0 to zero, um, and is going to get out of their group. Uh, okay, which means that we are moving on to our, uh, our final stage uh, between... Uh, uh, and and the, so the groups that are moving on into our final stage are going to be Meaningless Choices, Ginyu Force, meaning full choices, and BYOB. Um, so let me uh, let those teams know. Uh, uh, BYOB, BYOB, you're moving on. All right, and let's uh, end the group stage, and we're going to be moving on to our next match. Uh, and I'm going to just, I'm going to just come in here and do this live on the stream. So unprofessional, setting up our na next match when, uh, when, when people are, are watching, uh, getting a sense of just how bad my typing skills are, everybody. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, please just uh, bear with me as we do this. Okay, great. Let's get our next, let's get our final stage started with a match between meaningful, oh no, no, meaningless choices. Oops. It's very confusing that there are two teams named that. All right. Now you need to see why we need Dell. Uh, Dell is much better at this than I am. Okay, so let's get our team started. 
meaningless choices on gold, BYOB on blue. Okay, uh, both teams approaching, uh, approaching the cabinets. Uh, so once again, we're going to our final stage, which is, a, which is a round robin between four teams. So we're going to have six matches uh, all together. Um, um, Folks, uh, both teams getting ready. Uh, so here we have meaning less choices on gold and BYOB on blue. Meaning less choices, uh, once again, a uh, splinter team from meaningful choices, our reigning champions. Uh, and BYOB, a very experienced team, has been to almost every uh, 5v5. Uh, so uh, this is going to be an interesting match. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry, uh, yeah, my. Uh, my, uh, I, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen, for edit, actually editing the team names live on stream. Uh, we're still we're still getting things sorted out here at uh, at uh, uh, at the production studios here, which is really this table that I've set up in front of a projector at NYU Game Center. Uh, okay, so in this match, uh, we already have a very strong econ game from Meaningless Choices. Uh, but there we go, actually, Gold Queen going down twice. So uh, that might mean that um, BYOB is going to decide to just translate this into a military game. And yeah, it looks they, like they have uh, decided not to move uh, econ anymore. But oh, they're not doing a great job of shutting down Gold's... Um, not doing a great job of shutting down uh, Gold's Econ. Gold already only needs uh, three berries left. And Blue is just, look at it, hunting Gold Queen down, trying to take this. Um, uh, we have a, a Blue Ledge Guard. I, I would actually send the Blue Queen. I'd leave two soldiers. Uh, there we go. I think they were about to do that. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna, BYOB is going to leave two, uh, two uh, Ledge Guards uh, against... Uh, oh, against... Uh, oh, but another drone gets in. Um, and they're still hunting that Gold Queen down. Oh, Gold Queen, though. Nice moves, avoiding, uh, avoiding being trapped. Uh, Blue <laughs> moving a little bit of Snail in the meantime, actually. Uh, I guess maybe trying to draw that Gold Queen out. Oh, nice ledge guard there from the Blue Queen. Um, ooh, and yeah, I don't, I don't know what, uh, what that Blue ledge guard is, go is doing. She really, she really needs to get on to that ledge. I don't know why she's just floating in the hive. That's going to let... Eventually, one of these drones is going to get in. There we go. Uh, that blue soldier taken out. But uh, Blue Queen doing a great job, but she gets taken out herself, which means that Meaningless Choices moves their last two berries in and takes the first game against BYOB. Wow, hard-fought victory. Uh, it looks like uh, BYOB might have been able to translate uh, that into a military victory, but it just, it just didn't materialize. Uh, but that was close. That was very, very close. Uh, these two teams showing some excellent moves, uh, and uh, and uh, we're going to move into our next game of this match uh, between meaningless choices on BY and BYOB on the night map. Um, uh, once again, thanks everyone for tuning in. This is uh, 5v5 Fridays, 5 versus 5 Fridays here at the NYU Game Center in uh, beautiful Brooklyn, New York. Uh, this is a weekly tournament we do. Uh, every Friday for the local Killer Queen community. Uh, if you don't know what Killer Queen is, uh, I encourage you to tune in every Friday until you've figured it out. Uh, and then come and play uh, and get good. Um, right now there are strong scenes uh, in Portland and in Chicago. We're looking forward to a pretty strong scene in uh, San Francisco, which just got their cabinet and I believe already had a pretty big uh, tournament. Uh, so uh, Killer Queen, Interesting game, growing fast, uh, and here we are uh, in a match between meaning less choices on gold and BYOB on blue on the night map. Uh, blue uh, trying to move the snail, but that has been uh, shut down by a very heavy gold presence, uh, military presence. And uh, in the meantime, gold, ooh, gold queen goes down actually and is on her last life. So once again, 
gold is in a tough spot now. They only need three more berries. So let's see if uh, blue can do a little bit of a better job of making sure that gold military doesn't, uh, gold doesn't manage to move this stuff in. Oh, a long berry bounce goes all the way around and finally gets pushed out. The snail is almost in for BYOB, however. Uh, that means that gold is gonna have to answer this. A, a drone sacrifice, this snail is going to beat Gold's Econ, and that means that BYOB is on the board, tying it up one-to-one -one against Meaningless Choices. Wow, thrilling match. Really thrilling match here for our first game of our final stage uh, at 5v5. So, really good moves there. Okay, so, BYOB looking, uh, looking maybe a little rough in that first game, but a very good coordinated attack on the snail, constantly moving it, great ledge guarding, managed to shut down Meaningless Choices Econ just at the right moment, uh, distract them away, and uh, allows uh, BYOB to take that with a snail win. Um, so, uh, excellent job. Uh, Aw, oh, thank you. We, we love to know that Portland is watching, and we love to know that they love us. We love you, uh, everybody here in the scene. We try to tune in for each other's uh, league nights. We try to tune in for tournaments. Uh, the best thing about the Killer Queen uh, scene is uh, we argue sometimes, uh, but you know what? At the end of the day, we all love each other. Uh, oops, sorry, another unprofessional move, leaving the overlay on. Okay, so in case you missed what happened, uh, Gold Queen, Meaningless, cho uh, meaningless Choices uh, Queen, has gone down once. Uh, both teams are pushing Econ, so BYOB has pivoted onto Econ um, and is uh, doing their best to catch up right uh, right now. Uh, meaningless Choices has uh, uh, had a, uh, a pretty strong Econ, but now it looks like we have a, a pretty good ledge guard in place. Um, however, that's not translating to more Econ from uh, Blue. They're now moving the Snail, um, maybe uh, doing their best to uh, draw, uh, draw that gold military down, making sure that no one comes to clear out their hive. Yeah, and those uh, drones, gold drones, just throwing themselves against Blue Abs uh, as uh, BYOB has actually almost uh, tied up uh, the Econ game. Ooh, blue queen goes down though, so we are all tied up for queen kills. And blue is moving the snail once again. Blue clearing out their hive. Maybe that's a, a weird ploy to make gold think they're not actually pushing the snail. Because, okay, there we go. Gold queen finally seeing the snail and going down to try to shut it down. Ooh, blue, a little bit of a scrap there. Oh, but a gold abs comes in and kills the blue queen, which means that uh, she's not going to have the kind of presence she wants. And gold has cleared out its hive. Um, and that means that meaningless choices. Oh, Gold Queen goes down. However, um, so this is this this could still end. I mean, if, if there's a bad dive from one queen, uh, if there's uh, if there's really good ledge guarding on one side or the other. Ooh, but Gold Gold just has some good berry runners. They're getting in even with a defense, even with a queen defending. Gold manages to get their berries in. Um, and now here we go. We have a big uh, blue military presence. There's actually no blue uh, gold warriors out, so this is going to be tough. Um, they're going to need to put something together. Uh, blue kind of doing a little bit of everything, pushing, uh, pushing econ, then pushing the snail, then pushing econ. Um, uh, gold uh, only needs two more berries, but they have their their military is or uh, their uh, their econ has basically been shut down. Oh, but then they, they gold queen moves away, blue queen moves away, and another berry gets in for gold. So this is very 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 close. Um, this is this is tough. Uh, blue queen on her last life is having to do a bunch of guarding. Uh, one thing blue has for it is that they have a very large military out. Oh, oh no! Oh, there's a, there's a barrier that gets shut down, but that barrier's still in there. Whoa, there we go. Great moves by the Blue Queen, clearing that hive out, and, there, and Blue is still in this game. They're moving the snail. Uh, Queen, Blue Queen, harassing the goal hive, but a berry runner gets over. Oh, no. Okay, gets shut down. Oh, no! A kick in! A kick in! Okay, they managed to recover. Oh, yes. A lot, a lot of uh, Blue Military. I just tried to keep this alive. Oh, the one gets in, and me. Choices manages to take it two to one. Uh, oh, hard fought there, hard fought. Uh, but meaningless choices uh, with their uh, consistent, uh, consistent econ uh, manages to take that game. Uh, and that means we're going on to our next match.
uh, between meaningful choices and Ginyu Force. All right, meaningful choices on gold, Ginyu Force on blue. Ah, okay. Uh, we're starting our next match. Uh, so we're just going to go across now. So just like that. All right. Meaningful choices. Our reigning champions are here against newcomers, Ginyu Force. Ginyu Force, however, uh, very strong showing. Uh, getting out of their group um, and uh, now up against uh, the, the one of the best teams in New York. Let's see how they do. Um, all right, right off the bat, we have a strong econ push from uh, Meaningful Choices um, and a snails, uh, some snail movement for, uh, for Ginyu Force. However, they just now, Ginyu Force just now getting a, uh, getting a, uh, a ledge guard there. Uh, Gold Queen goes down, but uh, once again, Ginyu Force uh, let a lot of econ get in before they got that uh, before they got that defense up, and yeah, now there's a a clear hive, three drones getting in, uh, meaningful choices, only uh, only three berries away from taking this. The snail has been moving, but right now Ginyu Force maybe doesn't have the military presence they need if they actually want to win with this snail gambit. We have a speed a gold speed warrior harassing that snail. Gold Speed, uh, speed Warriors, very, very strong in this game. You don't see them enough. Um, Chicago's been running Speed Warriors. Portland's been running some Speed Warriors. So clearly, uh, Meaningful Choices has been taking some notes from those two scenes. Um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, they have, that, they have that snail locked down. Um, yeah, and there we go. Uh, Meaningful Choices clearing out their hive. They only need one more berry. Uh, it's not on the way up, but it'll be on the way. Yeah, there we go. It's on its way up. Ooh, blue defense killing the gold queen, but I don't think it's going to be enough. No, it is not, as that last drone gets in. And Meaningful Choices goes up one game in this best of three against Ginyu Force. So, uh, very nice. Yeah, we might end up getting a Meaningful Choices versus Meaningless Choices fi uh, final. Uh, but you never know. We still got some strong, uh, some strong teams. Um, and you never know. You never know what's going to happen. Um, so, uh, we have, uh, okay, here we go. We're jumping into the second game of this best of three here on the night map. Uh, and we have uh, Meaningful Choices on uh, gold and Ginyu Force on blue. Ooh, an early kill onto the blue queen uh, as uh, Meaningful Choices queen Brian Kang once again uh, making his presence felt. Uh, he is very, very, a very aggressive queen, um, just regularly, um, but especially if he smells blood in the water, especially if he senses that he could have a superior uh, skills, he really goes for, uh, really goes for the throat. Uh, but it doesn't work out for him there. He goes down, uh, so there can be such a thing as too much aggression. Uh, and uh, Brian, uh, Brian may back off a little bit more now in this game. Uh, so meaningless, meaningful choices has been moving econ this whole time, uh, basically unharassed, uh, basically without any answer from blue. Um, and blue, here we go, finally putting a, putting a, a guard in place uh, as blue's queen goes down. Uh, some moves there from blue, but oh, doesn't know to get the berry out. And there we go, all of a sudden, meaningful choices, only three berries away uh, from taking this game. We have blue queen in the gold hive. Um, trying to harass, uh, trying to harass these berry runners. Uh, she gets pushed out. Ooh, uh, however, Blue Ab's doing a pretty good job of shutting it down. Um, uh, meanwhile, Blue has been moving the snail, but that gets shut down by the Gold Queen. Uh, as there we go, another berry runner coming in. Uh, gold, only two berries away from taking this. Blue is moving the snail, but I don't think that snail, even, even perfect, even completely unanswered, is not going to beat, uh, a, a two berry uh, away win. Yeah, another drone gets in. Gold Queen goes down. Ooh, a lot of blue presence actually. Um, ooh, one more berry actually. One drone managed to get through the fray. So gold is only one berry away from winning. Uh, they have a pretty strong military presence. A uh, drone sneaks in, and that means that meaningful choices uh, takes a military victory. Right, they're right at the end. Uh, but meaningful choices. Uh, takes uh, the match uh, 
two to one, two to zero uh, against Ginyu Force. Uh, impressive, impressive uh, showing once again from meaningful choices. Uh, and that means we're going to move on to our next game, uh, which is Ginyu Force once again. Uh, wait, no, this is meaningless choices. Meaning less choices uh, against Ginyu Force. Okay, Ginyu Force on gold, meaning less choices on blue. There's only four teams, so you're going to be you're going to play it. Uh, all right, so Ginyu Force back at the cabinet, uh, while meaning less choices uh, comes up. Uh, looking for their second win uh, of the night. Um, Ginyu Force looking for their first. Uh, so, um, ooh, we, we, we've got to do the day map here, folks. All right, I think they, they figured it out. All right. Uh, Ginyu Force uh, uh, planning uh, their strategy. Uh, they're, looking, uh, they're looking to... Uh, to, to get back in this game. I think they know they have the chops, and they do. Uh, I should say Ginyu Force, uh, a fairly new team. Uh, they, they, they appeared last week, um, but uh, this is certainly their strongest showing so far. Um, and they've showed, uh, for new players, they've showed a, a, a very good uh, coordination. Uh, that's one of the things that uh, with new teams, with pickup teams, you don't see as often. Uh, so, you know, their mechanics aren't there yet, perhaps, but they're uh, showing a lot of uh, good coordination, which, you know, in the long run, the mechanics will show up, but team coordination can sometimes be the hardest thing to perfect in this game. Um, that said, uh, they're having a lot of trouble shutting down Blue Econ here. Uh, Blue Queen goes down, but that may just give her a chance to clean out her hive as uh, two more drones get in, and Blue's Econ is very, very, very strong. Uh, Blue has uh, shut down the snail, uh, but the snail's moving again for gold, but it's only just now getting through the long haul. Uh, and yeah, that's immediately shut down by the Blue Queen and a Blue Soldier. Uh, Blue Hive uh, was clear there, and a couple of drones got in, meaning that Blue is only uh, four, dr uh, four berries away uh, from taking, uh, taking this game. Uh, another death there, though, for the Blue Queen. She needs to be careful. Um, if she gets caught out, uh, it might just be over. But there we go. Drone coming in for Blue. Uh, they only need two more berries. And, ooh, big kill there for Blue Abs uh, as he takes out a Gold Warrior and the Gold Queen. As a Blue Drone gets in, uh, we have a Blue Drone coming up. That's unchallenged. And Meaningless Choices takes this first game. Uh, against Ginyu Force, so they are up. Uh, they are up one here uh, in this best of three. Um, really nice, uh, really nice moves there for meaningless choices. Uh, Ginyu Force staying in it. I mean, Ginyu Force actually a fairly strong military showing there. And you know, it's it's strange. It doesn't always work, but you know, sometimes you can catch a team off guard by going full military. Uh, and maybe that's what Ginyu Force uh, should switch to. Uh, you know, I uh, just take meaningless choices. Queen has shown uh, that she's willing to put herself in danger. Um, she's willing to maybe be a little bit more aggressive than she sometimes should be. Um, and Ginyu Force could take advantage of that uh, and just do a full court military press. Uh, and uh, and maybe catch her off guard, but that does not look like what they're going to do. Uh, what they're going to do is actually a fairly strong uh, uh, econ push. Uh, econ is tied up, but the gold queen has already gone down once. Um, there's no snail. Oh, blue queen goes down there, so gold returning the favor. Um, and here we have uh, a slight econ lead for uh, blue, but otherwise we have a pretty good gold military out, um, and this is looking like a close game. Uh, well, there we go, blue drone getting in. So once again, I think um, you know Ginyu's force, uh, their greenness showing there. They're not they're not quite on top of their ledge guarding or their hive guarding as they should be. Ooh, but there we go, some good kills there by Gold Abs. Gold Abs needs to get out of there. That blue queen. Okay, bad dives there from that blue queen. Ooh, and another kill on the Blue Queen. So actually, Ginyu Force might take this. I say that as two drones get in, but Ginyu Force is in a position to take this. If they can manage to get the Blue Queen in a bad position, they could kill her and that could be the game. So uh, 
you know, Gold Abs doing a pretty good job slowing this uh, this econ down, and that might force the Blue Queen into a bad position. Uh, as I say that, uh, Blue Drone gets in. Um, uh, you see another, yeah, another uh, drone doing some uh, head running there uh, and managing to get in. Oh, two more berries. Gold leaves the blue hive, which means that there's no answer for these drones. Uh, and that means meaning less choices is going to take the match. Uh, two to zero against Ginyu Force. Um, so uh, nice, nice showing there. Uh, once again, the uh, meaningless choices, uh, you know, is an offshoot of meaningful choices. Our, uh, our, our champion team, and you're, you're seeing why that is. They, are, they have some great moves of their own. All right, meaningful choices on gold, BYOB on blue. Okay, up next, we're going to have um, meaningful choices on gold. Uh, and BYOB on a gold. So this should be an interesting game. Um, uh, BYOB, once again, both of these uh, teams are uh, pretty experienced, um, uh, meaning BYOB probably being having the most veteran members of the Killer Queen community because they have the two creators of the game on their team. So I'm pretty sure Josh and Nick have maybe played this game longer than anyone else. Maybe not more than anyone else. Uh, I'm sure there's there's at least a couple of people in Chicago that can uh, that can that hold that title. But they have been playing it the longest. Um, they are the most veteran members of the Killer Queen uh, community. Uh, and so here we go. We're going to uh, jump into this uh, first game between uh, meaningful choices on gold and uh, BYOB on blue. Uh, right off the bat, we have a strong econ push from uh, from meaningful choices, but actually some excellent uh, some excellent uh, defense there. Uh, from BYOB. BYOB moving some econ of their own, but not as fast. Uh, they're, uh, they're a berry behind, and actually, there you go. Uh, some great moves there from a gold drone getting in, and BYOB's queen goes down, uh, meaning that uh, Meaningful Choices is looking... Oh, there we go. Another kill uh, for Meaningful Choices on the blue queen. Uh, once again, Brian Kang really feeling himself, and there we go. He goes for the 50-50 and a very fast military win for Meaningful Choices. Uh, Brian can be ruthless. He can be very ruthless when he, uh, when he senses that he has an advantage. Um, so we'll see uh, if maybe BYOB can put up a, a little bit more of a fight in this, next, uh, uh, in this next game. Certainly BYOB's queen should play a little bit more cautiously. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong. In fact, uh, Bediocre, one of the best... Oh, there we go! Uh, I take that back. Uh, Josh DeBonis on BYOB uh, deciding that he wants some kills of his own and takes out Brian Kang. And BYOB is moving the snail. Uh, Brian Kang dropping in, maybe trying to shut this down. But actually, there's no gold military out. They did a huge econ push right off the bat, which means that they don't have a lot of an answer for this. Very, very dangerous moves here. Ooh, Josh DeBonis. Oh, and Brian gets taken out, which means this snail is going to start moving again. Um... And uh, there doesn't seem to be any answer to this. Uh, we have gold jumping around, trying to, gonna try to get. Yeah, they, they get a they get a sacrifice. Brian though dives in and takes uh, takes out the blue queen, which means that uh, blue has lost control of the snail. Uh, they're gonna shut this down, uh, take control back of it. But but they really need some kind of. Uh, uh, military presence. There we go. Okay, Josh is back in the fray, meaning there's a little bit more defense against Brian. Um, Ooh, Brian, though, takes out almost the entire blue team. And we have a gold speed drone on uh, the snail. And in the meantime, there has not been any guarding of the uh, gold uh, base, which means they are only two berries away from winning. And Meaningful Choices uh, has pulled this game back together and is looking poised to win it. Although, in fact, they're a blue back on the snail. Oh! oh! And Josh finds Brian 
and manages to take him out. And there we go. BYOB. Excellent moves, putting themselves back in this match. Oh, and the crowd goes very quiet. No, I did not expect that outcome. All right, so Josh DeBonis not taking my advice wisely, getting in there, scrapping, and winning against Brian Kang, uh, one of the best queens uh, in New York. Uh, one of the biggest queens we have in New York, uh, Brian, Brian Kang. Um, so good, good on Josh DeBonis. Uh, yeah, really great game there from uh, both sides. Uh, and here we go. We're going to get into the second game of this best of three. And we have a uh, what looks to be another uh, snail push from BYOB. Maybe not. Maybe now they're taking my advice. Now they're going to go for a big military push. Oh, no, they're running berries. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> No? Okay, so BYOB is going to have three warriors out and one berry runner. Um, uh, oh, I don't know what just happened. Okay, it looks like we just had a hiccup in the, in the, uh, the, oh, this is just the projector went out. So you at home might not know that. Oh, we're getting a lot of slowdown actually uh, on the stream. Yeah, it looked like there was some weird blink from, uh, from the cabinet. And uh, we're gonna, I'm going to play this through. It's going to be really ugly. Uh, I'm going to try to describe it as best as possible. So right now we have uh, meaning uh, full choices uh, with a very strong berry lead. Um, uh, BYOB is moving the snail, but it is not, uh, it hasn't been shut down. So actually, if they can have a very strong defense, they might have a chance of winning this. Blue has a speed warrior uh, guarding this snail, uh, but gold gets a sacrifice. Gold Queen comes in, manages to kill the rider. A lot of uh, fighting going on around the snail uh, as uh, Blue's ledge guard uh, lets another berry runner in, which means that gold is only two berries away from winning. Ooh, but Gold Queen goes down. There's a lot of blue military out. They need to get that drone down and start moving this snail. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Two berries move in. And that, mean that means that Meaningful Choices uh, takes the game two to one. Excellent game. Okay, so we're getting some a lot of stuttering. We're going to restart the stream. So uh, everyone sit tight. We won't start the next match until we get the stream restarted. Uh, so we'll be right back. Uh, nobody go anywhere. Meaningful choices. Okay, sorry everybody for that delay. Uh, we're, uh, we're hopefully back and running smoothly. Uh, and we have a pretty exciting match here. Um, we, we have uh, meaning, uh, meaning less choices on gold meaningful and meaningful choices on blue. Um, so this is meaningful choices are our reigning champions. They've won the last two 5v5s in a row up against their splinter team, meaning less choices. So this is going to be pretty exciting. Uh, meaningless choices is, is, is some former members of Meaningful Choices had a couple of pickups. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, pretty, yeah, like basically the overflow for Meaningful Choices is now Meaningless Choices. Uh, okay, so we are jumping into this uh, first match between meaning less choices on gold. Uh, between less and full. Less on gold and full on, uh, on uh, blue. Which leads to the question, is the hive half full or half empty? I, I don't know. Um, but it is half full for both teams, uh, with a slight edge right now for Meaningful Choices on blue. However, Meaningful Choices uh, Queen has gone down one, uh, which means that uh, gold can have a slightly uh, better, uh, a slightly more present military. Um, now, whether gold can translate that into an actual, oh, Brian goes down again, blue queen goes down again, and a gold drone gets in. So it looks like uh, gold is actually doing a pretty good job of translating this into uh, some economic movement. As I say that though, the gold queen goes down, uh, blue's uh, econ starts up, the hive is completely clear for blue. Um, so yeah. Uh, we are only three away from Meaningful Choices taking this first game. Uh, the Queen Kills are now all tied up. 
um, and meaningful choices, uh, bringing in a Barry. They're only one away from winning. Uh, this is uh, looking tough. I mean, we're going to have to see some great defense from Gold, but they don't have any. Uh, and there we go. Oh! Meaningful Choices takes uh, out the Queen as she comes up to defend. And that means that, uh, that Meaningful Choices takes this first game. And we are going to move on to the night map. Uh, all right, there we go. Jumping into this game between meaning less choices on gold and meaning full choices on blue. Um, exciting match here. Um, let's see. Uh, we had some great moves there by blue in that last game. Let's see if they can, uh, they can get it back. Um, uh, so right off the bat, it looks like Gold is moving a little bit of Snail, while Blue is going to decide to move mostly Econ. Ooh, Gold Queen goes down. Uh, once again, we might have Brian Kang, the uh, Blue Queen, sensing blood. He gets very, very aggressive if he feels like he has any kind of military uh, advantage. Um, I should mention in the meantime, though, that actually uh, Econ is all tied up between these two teams. Uh, there hasn't really been much uh, guarding uh, by Blue, uh, which has meant that Gold has been moving Econ uh, unopposed. Um, uh, Gold uh, doing a pretty good job of slowing Econ down themselves. Uh, but uh, yeah, Gold only one, uh, two, uh, yeah, three away from uh, taking this game. So we're going to need some blue defense. Uh, blue Hive is now totally open. So uh, that might be, and actually there's no gold military out to defend this. So um, this is going to be tough. Um, yeah, blue soldiers really shutting down this hive. Oh, but the gold, and the gold queen goes down. But we have two berry runners get in. So gold is only one away from taking this game. Gold queen runs out, which um, is, it's going to be tough. Uh, blue is now only one away from uh, winning. Or two away from winning. One away. There's a blue. Oh, there we go, though. Meaningless choices. Sneaks the drone in. And they tie the game up one to one. Wow. Excellent move there for meaningless choices giving meaningful choices a, a real game um oh my god i'm losing my voice um uh so i might i'm gonna go grab some water during this next one uh so here we go we're gonna get the final game between meaning less choices and meaning full choices here at the day map uh at 5v5 fridays you want to commentate i gotta, I gotta get some water So this is going to be a really exciting match. All right. It looks like Blue has the big lead on the economic. And let's see what happens. Can Gold pull it off? Because they're way behind. They don't have Snail. I mean, they are defend. They are trying to defend, but they can't. It looks like it's going to be economic. And here comes the Blue Queen and... And there you go, that's game. All right, Meaningful Choices takes it. All right. I get Three. All right, so there we go. We got uh, Meaningful Choices taking it two to one uh, against Meaningless Choices. So let's get our next game started between Ginyu Force and BYOB. All right, Ginyu Force, Ginyu Force on gold, BYOB on blue. All right, so this is going to be our last match of the round robin. What's that? Ginyu Force. This will be our last match of the round robin. 
What? Why? They thought we were done. Well. <laughs> All right, so Ginyu Force left. Should I just give it to BYOB then? If your team leaves during the tournament, I'm not sure I should. Oh wow! All right. All right. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna play it out. If it's okay with BYOB, you're playing against the <laughs> Ginyu Force left. All right, okay, so here we go. We're gonna have uh, Genyu Force. Oh, guys, guys! Genyu Force, hey, hey! Genyu Force on gold, BYOB on blue. Yeah. Genyu Force on gold, BYOB on blue. <sighs> okay, so that's confusing and strange. Uh, Genyu Force apparently left, thinking that they were done. They were not done. Ginyu Force left, thinking that they were done, but Seriously? they they were not and done. And that's why these guys are out. And so yeah, we just had a we have a we have a I mean, a sub sure. a sub team. Yeah. I thought they were yeah. Interesting. All right, so I'm gonna set up for the glory match while we're waiting for these two who's, to start. Who's in the finals? Uh, oh. Um, Oh, definitely. It's almost definitely. Yeah. No, it's it's meaningless Wait, and meaningful. Meaningless and meaningful. I thought that just happened though. Was that not the final? That was just a round robin match. Yes. So after this, whoever's in first and second place will do the glory match with the best of seven. I thought the last match was just our final. No. Meaningless and meaningful. No, no, no. Uh, oh. It will be. Okay. Right off the bat, we have uh, Josh DeBonis going down. Uh, to an excellent dive by uh, the Gold Queen. Uh, and we have Gold, uh, a, a, a surprise Ginyu Force, um, uh, moving the snail. Uh, and moving the snail, for the most part, uh, unimpeded. So, um, good on there. Oh, uh, God, I'm sorry, I left the overlay up. Uh, there we go. Sorry, folks. Uh, I'm so confused because Ginyu Force, one of our teams left, and I'm trying to do all of this at the same time. Uh, okay, uh, actually, uh, BYOB's queen has gone down twice. They've been uh, they've been moving uh, moving econ this whole time, uh, and uh, and we have uh, you know I mean so Ginyu Force is still in this. They could they could take Josh out. Um, they're moving the snail. Uh, you know that got shut down pretty fast. Um, uh, yeah, we have a kind of slow and steady uh, econ here going from uh, BYOB. Um, and uh, it looks like Ginyu Force is uh, trying to put together something, but they, they don't have a lot of military out at this point. The, the queen kind of just hunting around looking for a win. Uh, and if, they, if she manages to find Josh, if she manages to find the blue queen, uh, they'll take the game. But I think Josh is a little too smart for that. Um, there, uh, there's, there, there's drones coming in for blue, even though there's a lot of uh, gold military present. And uh, BYOB is only two berries away from winning this. Um, winning this bizarre match between a team of people who just volunteered to be on Ginyu Force after it left. Uh, our, our own Matt Albrecht is queening for Ginyu Force, and he was the only one in Ginyu Force left. And so I think they all pulled it together, and Matt's going to get to queen uh, for one last time tonight. Uh, BYOB uh, is looking at uh, only um, uh, only one more berry to take it. Uh, Gold has been putting is putting some defense uh, in position. Uh, uh, Blue Soldier coming up to clean that out actually though, and makes a path for uh, that blue drone, which means that uh, BYOB takes the first game in this match. Um, all right, excellent. So we have Ginyu Force on uh, gold and BYOB on blue. Uh, all right, so uh, Ginyu Force uh, swapping a member out, uh, basically probably just for fun, letting everyone sort of get a chance to play. Um, and uh, BYOB is tapping in. Uh, we're waiting for Ginyu Force to to say it's ready to go. Uh, they're discussing strategy. Uh, that last game was closer maybe than it looked. I mean, they, they almost won militarily. If Josh had, had made one mistake, uh, if Blue Queen had made one mistake, gotten into a bad position, Ginyu Force would have taken it. So Ginyu Force definitely feeling like they, uh, 
they uh, they definitely have a shot. Um, okay, so here we are in this second game of a best of three between Ginyu Force on uh, gold and BYOB on blue. And there we go, a kill on the blue queen as Ginyu Force tries to flex its military muscle. Um, they had a pretty good military showing in the last game. Here they are moving Snail, doing the right thing. They've got a very strong military out. That soldier should not have gone up against the Blue Queen. That could have soldier should have been back guarding the Snail. But uh, there we go. Um, actually, Blue Military moving in and shutting almost all of that gold military down and the Snail Rider. So uh, great job for them. Uh, and yeah, it looks like Blue is an even going military. Blue is going to scrap for the, uh, for the Snail. Um, maybe just as a way of sort of forestalling, uh, forestalling the end. Um, okay, Gold Queen goes down, Blue is moving the Snail, uh, BYOB has decided they're going to play Ginyu Force's game, show them how the Snail is done, uh, and there you go, yeah, they're getting into great positions. Oh, but the Blue Queen goes down again! Okay, so this could get interesting. There's a lot of mil gold military out, the Blue Queen is down to her last life. Blue is moving the snail, but it's going to be hard with their, uh, with the, okay, well that's easier now. They've taken out one of the blue blue soldiers, but this is a little hard for, uh, for Blue Queen. She's down to her last life. Oh, but she manages to pincer the Gold Queen, and there's a lot of blue military out, which means that we are moving, this, this uh, snail is moving again, and there is not much to answer it on the gold side. There has been basically no uh, econ this game. Um, the snail has moved now almost all the way across. Uh, it was fairly far in the gold side, but now it's moving over to the blue side. Blue getting into position to guard it. Uh, that gold queen, is that's a dangerous game she's playing, and there we go. She gets pincered, and BYOB takes it, uh, meaning that they win our last match of the round robin. All right, so uh, we are done with the round robin for tonight. But we are going to go on uh, to the uh, honor match between our first and second place uh, teams. Uh, that will be a best of seven, so it's going to be quite exciting. So stick around for a game between meaningful choices and meaningless choices. Is uh, meaning full choices in first place, meaning less choices in second place, BYOB in third, and Ginyu Force uh, in fourth place. Now, uh, as is tradition, um, the winner of the round robin, meaningful choices, can decide what they want to do with the money. They can decide to take it, um, or they can decide to donate it to the tournament fund. Um, Brian Kang, the queen, is, I think, uh, consulting. No, we're going to take it. Meaningful choices can win the honor match. Now we're going to do a best of seven honor match between seven meaningful choices and meaningless choices. If meaningless <laughs> choices wins, this goes into the tournament fund. But if meaningful choices wins, they get to take it for the nights. So uh, we're going to have. Uh, uh, this for the band fund. We're going to go to Chicago. All right, meaningful choices on gold. And meaningless choices are going to come to New York. It's one team. It's one team. All right. Meaningful choices on gold. Meaningful less choices on blue. All right. So, uh, for those who don't know, uh, the way it works here uh, at 5v5s is that whoever wins the round robin can decide whether they want to take the money. Uh, it costs one dollar per player to enter this tournament, uh, so they can take the money, which is usually you know about 30, 40 bucks. Uh, or they can donate it to our tournament fund, and then once we have enough money, uh, we'll hold a, a big tournament uh, with a with large uh, cash prize pool. Uh, Meaningful Choices tonight has opted to take the money, as they, as they have the last two weeks, in which they have successfully taken the money. Uh, uh, Brian says that it's going into their van fund, uh, so that eventually they can rent a van and drive to Chicago uh, and take everyone on there. So we'll see, we'll see how that works out. So, okay, we're jumping into our first game here between meaning less choices on gold and, I'm sorry, meaning full choices on gold and meaning less choices on blue. And right off the bat, we have a very strong defense uh, here by blue, uh, but an econ lead from gold. Uh, and it looks like uh, gold is going to want to push econ. Blue's trying to push econ as well, but their econ has not been moving 
uh, as quickly. Ooh, but Brian goes down. The Gold Queen goes down. Um, and let's see uh, if uh, Blue can translate this into a little bit more momentum for their uh, econ. Uh, while they were killing Brian, however, two more drones got in for gold, so they have widened their uh, their berry lead. Ooh, there we go. Blue Queen goes down, so we are all tied up in queen kills, and gold has a good lead uh, on berries. So this is going to get very interesting. Oh, Brian goes down. All right, Gold Queen down to her last life. Um, we have uh, no defenders, though, for the Gold Hive. No defenders for the Blue Hive, either. So Blue uh, Warrior now moving into position, but let's, uh, let's a drone by. Gold is only three berries uh, away from winning, but so is Blue. So this is actually a, a, a pretty good scrap. Um, Blue is uh, doing a good job of moving around, making sure they can take control of, uh, of the gates. Uh, we have uh, two drones coming up for blue. Neither one gets in, but a blue, a gold drone gets in. Another gold drone gets in, and Meaningful Choices is only one berry away from taking this. Oh, a blue drone gets in, but there's there's not a lot of defense. Okay, defense in place for both teams. Um, ledge guard in place. Uh, oh, blue drone get in? Does it get in? No, it gets shut down. Actually, uh, doesn't manage to get that berry in, uh, which means that. Uh, Blue is still needs two berries in to win. Gold only needs one. Uh, this is this is hard fought. Gold Queen coming up to clear out the hive, and there we go. Uh, gold drone gets in, which means that gold meaningful choices takes this first match uh, in the best of or takes this first game in this match um, uh, against yes night map back and forth um, against meaningless choices. So we're going to move on to our. Uh, Second game of this best of seven uh, here on the night map. Uh, let's see. That was a very close game. Uh, let's see if Meaningful Choices uh, uh, just barely pulled ahead. Uh, one or two, uh, you know, uh, lucky berry jumps, and uh, that would have been a totally different game. So, okay, once again, we have both teams uh, moving econ. Um, blue right now with a slight lead uh, against gold. Uh, gold has a speed drone actually. They, they have decided that maybe a speed drone is useful on this uh, on this map. I can't blame them actually. There's a lot of vertical, a lot of horizontal uh, on this map, which means that it's a little bit more effective. But oh, just as I say that, the uh, blue, uh, the gold drone. Oh, and both queens go down. So. Um, once again, we have a, a pretty much a tie as far as berries are concerned. Um, oh, and the gold queen goes down again. A lot of kills on gold drones. And uh, this is looking uh, really exciting. Okay, so we have a clear blue hive uh, as two drones come in. Uh, blue doing a pretty good job of shutting gold down. But oh, two drones get in and gold is only uh, three berries away, but Gold Queen is on her last life. Oh, another drone gets in. They need to do a better job of shutting this down. Okay, so berries are all tied up. Two for each team. Gold is on their last queen life. Um, another blue berry gets in. Oh, okay, blue is only one away from winning. And just as I say that, okay, two gold drones get shut down. Uh, berries kicked over to the blue side. They get kicked back. Um, oh, no. Yes, there we go. Um, Blue manages to take it, and that means that we are tied up one-to-one -one between meaningless choices on blue and meaningful choices on gold. Impressive econ game there. Uh, we're going to go to our day map now uh, between these two teams as I slowly lose my voice. Uh, all right. Um, All right, so here we go. Uh, jumping into this third game in the best of seven uh, with uh, all tied up between meaningful choices on gold and meaningless choices on blue. Uh, meaningful choices looking like it wants to run. Uh, ooh, big dive there by Brian, the gold queen, taking out uh, Brian, the blue queen. <laughs> we have Brian Kang on gold queen and Brian Wong on blue queen. Uh, right now, there's no, oh, a bounce in for blue, meaning that their econ is actually fairly, uh, fairly uh, far ahead, but it's unclear. Okay, so gold has been moving the snail this whole time with a, with a speed drone. Um, okay, another blue drone gets in. Um, gold, however, I'm not sure they have the military presence to do this. Well, they, they do. They, they seem to have muscled the gold military out. Oh, but gold queen goes down, which means that, uh, Oh, but that gold, that gold snail is getting very, very close. 
Uh, all right, Speed Drone gets down. Long dive by the Gold Queen, uh, trying to hold this down. And here we go, it's moving in. Can Blue shut it down? No, they cannot. And there we go. We have meaningful choices going up with, uh, with a snail victory. So it is now two to one. Uh, meaningful choices ahead. Uh, meaningless choices. Uh, just one game behind in this best of seven. All right, we're moving on to the night map here between meaningless choices, uh, meaningful choices on gold and meaningless choices on uh, blue. Oh, gold queen goes down, and we have econ moving for blue. Already uh, three drones in. Uh, it looks like gold is going to be uh, moving the snail once again. Um, uh, there is really no defense uh, on the blue hive. Uh, okay, Gold Queen goes down once again uh, as the Blue Queen shuts that snail down and Blue begins moving it back. Uh, again, there is no pushback on Blue uh, on Blue uh, Econ. Now the Gold Queen coming in uh, and running some defense. Um, not much though, as uh, as another Blue Drone gets in and another Blue Drone gets in. Okay, so the snail has not moved at all. Uh, blue is running Econ. We have a heavy gold military presence around the blue uh, hive. That still doesn't stop one drone from getting in, and blue is only three berries away from winning. Uh, we have a speed drone for gold running around, uh, and uh, gold is once again moving the snail. Um, that gets shut down. Another drone comes in for blue. Blue is only two berries away from taking it. It's a race now uh, between Econ and snail, and Econ, for now, is winning. Uh, we've got some... Uh, uh, hive guarding going on by both uh, a gold warrior and uh, oh, but there we go. The last berry comes in and blue ekes out a win uh, against meaningful choices, meaning that we are once again tied up. It is now two to two uh, in this best of seven between meaningful choices and meaningless choices. So uh, back and forth game, crazy match. Um, Meaningless choices, sticking with their econ uh, uh, throughout. Uh, meaningful choices, uh, playing a little snail. Um, but uh, here we go. All right, meaningful choices has switched back onto econ. Uh, they've got two berries in. While it looks like meaningless choices is some snail, they tried some snail, but I'm afraid they don't have the military presence to do it. Uh, and in fact, I believe their speed drone went down. Oh. Brian Kang, Gold Queen, goes down um, to Brian Wong, the Blue Queen. Uh, and Meaningless Choices is now pushing Snail and Econ. They've, they've dropped two berries off and they're moving the Snail. Um, there's really not any military out for either team. Um, uh, nevertheless, okay, there we go. Gold now has some military out, but we have no military out by Blue. Uh, and Meaningful Choices uh, Econ is moving apace. There has basically been no harassment from Blue on that Gold Hive. Um, they're now trying to move some Econ of their own, but it's being shut down by a Gold Ledge Guard. And there we go, one uh, Gold Drone getting in, which means that uh, Gold is only four berries away from taking this. Uh, Blue has been moving the Snail in the meantime. Gold hasn't noticed. There we go, they finally noticed. Uh, and as I say that, two Gold Drones get in, one of them seems to have some jump problems and doesn't get in, but, but now Gold is only three berries away from taking it. There's still no blue military, and that has been the story of this game, is that there's basically no blue military. Uh, oh, there we go, a kill on the Gold Queen, so maybe it doesn't need a military. Uh, blue abs coming out, uh, killing, that, uh, killing that drone before going down themselves. Oh, but there we go, two drones get in, a kill on the Blue Queen. Uh, this is looking very tough for Blue. The Hive uh, is basically clear right now. There's no blue military to guard. Blue Queen goes down again. Here comes some gold drones. Going to close it out. And that means that Meaningful Choices is at match point with three wins against two. Um, Okay, so we have Meaningful Choices here on Gold with three wins uh, in this best of seven and Meaningless Choices on Blue with two wins uh, in this best of seven. So right now, Meaningful Choices is at uh, match points. Let's see what they can do. Uh, let's see if they're going to close it out, what kind of strat they're going to go with. And it looks like they're going to go full military. 
Yes, I think that is correct. Uh, Meaningless Choices is running berries. They've got two berries in, uh, three now. Um, but there is a huge gold military presence, and they are hunting Brian Wong, the Blue Queen, down. Um, uh, Blue has no military out. Uh, they have no gates. Brian goes down again, and once, here we go, we see that really vicious, meaningful choices military. If they feel like they can win militarily, they make a huge push. Um, a lot of Blue Econ is slowed down. Blue Queen bobbing and weaving amongst a swarm of gold soldiers and the gold queen. Um, Econ is, is, is moving slowly. They get two berries in, but the gold blue queen gets, gets cornered in the gold hive, and she goes down, which means that Meaningful Choices takes it, wins our honor match, and wins the night. All right, well, that is it for us here uh, at... Uh, in Brooklyn, New York, here at the NYU Game Center uh, for 5v5 Fridays. Um, we want to thank everyone for tuning in. I want to thank all of our teams. I want to thank uh, Dell Northern for being our uh, stream uh, team technician. And uh, we hope you'll all come back next Friday night. Um, and uh, we do this every Friday. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Nick, are we gonna uh, we're gonna try out the night map, the new night map? Are we gonna play around with that stuff at all tonight, or we think we're gonna call it a call it a night? I mean, we could try. We could try. We had we'll nearly play, killed we'll the machine play, last time. So let's give it a shot. Okay. Uh, okay. So everyone on the stream, if you're interested in sticking around, uh, we're gonna try to get uh, the new night map. We're gonna have a, a few free play games. Uh, on the new night map design. Uh, so for people who